Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome to my channel where I make your life easier, one video at a time. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the ultimate guide to passing a fast food job interview. I have passed two fast food job interviews and I've also gotten two jobs without having to do traditional interviews. In this ultimate guide, I will share with you what to do before, during, and after an interview, and I'm also going to answer fast food interview questions. However, this guide doesn't include resumes because in fast food, resumes are not that important. Yes, they are necessary because the hiring manager needs that resume in order to contact you, but the hiring manager isn't going to simply look at your resume and hire you on the spot without even meeting you. What will help you pass are connections, showing enthusiasm during your interview, answering each question to the best of your ability, and big points if the employer is hiring, which I will discuss more in detail in this guide. This guide is going to provide tons of helpful information, so do take notes. All right, let's dive right in. Where do you begin? Before you start job hunting, ask yourself, where do I want to work? If you want to work at your favorite fast food restaurant, but they are not hiring, don't be discouraged. Go for it anyway. At first, I was denied an internship position at my dream company, Create and Cultivate. However, it was the only place I wanted to intern at, so I kept trying and eventually I got it. If an employer sees the passion that you have for his, her, or their company, it would be a mistake not to hire you. If you don't have a favorite fast food restaurant or you don't care, you just wanna start making money, here is what you should consider before you start submitting your fast food job applications. All right, so number one is find a fast food restaurant close by so you don't have to worry about transportation. If you are still in high school or you recently graduated, you may not have a car. So you may have to rely on a friend or a family member to take you to work. There will be times where they can't take you. So it is up to you to get to work. And as a fast food employee, it is your job to get to work on time, no excuses. That's why it's important to work close to home. So if you have to walk, you don't have to walk far. Save yourself the stress and work close to home. Why do you wanna spend extra money on lifts and Ubers when you can take the bus for $1.50 or walk for free? All right, so number two is contact friends and family members who work in the fast food industry. Connections, one of the main tips that is going to help you pass your fast food job interview and land you your first job. My mother helped me get my first job. She works at McDonald's and when I turned 18, she talked to the store manager and she told the store manager that I was interested in working for McDonald's. Because my mom is an excellent and loyal employee, the store manager trusted her and asked me to come into the restaurant to get started. I skipped the interview. Keep in mind that your connections goal is to put in a word for you. Please don't rely on them to do everything for you, from talking to the store manager, from bugging the store manager, and from reminding you that you need to get to your interview on time. Also, if your connection puts in a word for you and the hiring manager doesn't contact you, no worries, on to the next. And for number three, after you have finished these tasks, submit your fast food job applications, and if the fast food restaurant is traditional, Go in and ask for an application and turn it in as soon as possible. You applied, now what? After you have applied or turned in your in-person job applications, print out your resume and go to the restaurant that you applied for. Ask to speak to the hiring manager. If the hiring manager is there, smile, introduce yourself, hand them your resume and mention that you applied for the, for example, cashier position and if they are still hiring, you are interested. This face-to-face -face conversation should only last two to three minutes. Please don't call the restaurant to tell them that you applied. And make sure you give your resume to the hiring manager because if you give it to another employee, they may not give it to the hiring manager. If the hiring manager is not there, go back the next day. The goal is to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with the hiring manager. After you have met the hiring manager, wait a few days for their call. And if you don't hear from the hiring manager, it is okay, on to the next. Repeat this process until you land an interview. If the fast food restaurant is your first choice and you don't want to give up that easily, go back to the restaurant and ask to speak to the hiring manager. Smile, reintroduce yourself, mention that you turned in your resume last week and that their fast food restaurant is your first choice. Also, let them know that you are still interested. These tips should help you land an interview, but if the hiring manager tells you that they are no longer hiring, Thank them for their time, say goodbye, and move on. 
You got the interview, but how do you ace it? Arrive early to the interview and tell the cashier in the front that you are here for an interview with the hiring manager. If you know the name of the hiring manager, even better. Show excitement during your interview, especially if it is your first choice. When I worked as a service champion at Taco Bell, I asked the restaurant general manager how a kid did during his interview, and she responded, not so well. She didn't hire him because he didn't have a bubbly attitude. You don't have to be over the top happy, but smiling and showing enthusiasm will help you pass your fast food job interview. Practice answering questions at home. Have a friend or family member help you out. Because of my experience in interviewing, my college roommate asked if I could help him prepare for his interview, and I did just that. He aced his interview and got the job. You must answer each question to the best of your ability. I understand that you are nervous and you don't have that much experience, but please say something. If you don't answer the question, or if you say, I don't know, without even trying to answer the question, you may lose your chance at passing your fast food job interview. Make eye contact. Please don't answer the questions while looking at the ceiling or looking at the floor. Trust me, your answers are not there. Make sure you attend your fast food job interview while groomed. I have a video called what to wear to a fast food job interview and I will leave the card right here if you want to check it out. Bring an extra copy of your resume. Thank the interviewer for their time. Thank goodness that's over. What's next? If you don't get a call back after a week or two, go to the fast food restaurant and ask to speak to the manager who interviewed you. Same with dropping off a resume. If the hiring manager is not there, keep coming back until they are. This is how I got a job at Taco Bell. I passed the in-person interview and I also passed the over the phone interview. However, I didn't get a call back. So I kept going back to the restaurant until I got to speak with the hiring manager. She apologized and I got started the next week. Pause. If you are finding this video helpful so far, please make sure to like it. And if you would prefer to see this video in writing, I created a blog post on my website, Molding Excellence, where I transcribe this entire video. So if you would find that more helpful, you know, if you would find it more helpful to take notes while well, it's already all written down for you, check out that blog post. I will leave it in the description box. So let's get back into the video. All right, now it is time to answer fast food interview questions. I am going to answer 12 interview questions. I am 24 years old, but let's pretend I am a senior in high school and I've never had a job before and I'm interviewing at Taco Bell. This is how I would answer the questions. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a cheerleader. I've competed in competitions and I've also cheered at football games. I am also in drama performance. I was a lead in a musical and I performed in an improv show and I also have a passion for photography. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself graduating from community college, then transferring to a university to pursue my bachelor's degree. What is your greatest weakness? My greatest weakness would have to be asking for help. I've always seen vulnerability as a weakness, but I'm learning that strong people know when it's time to throw in the towel and ask for help. What is your greatest strength? My greatest strength is not being afraid to go for it. When I saw that there was no guys on the cheerleading squad, it didn't intimidate me from trying out. Why should we hire you? You should hire me because I don't have any previous fast food job experience, so you would get to train me the Taco Bell way. What can we expect from you in your first 90 days? In the first 90 days, you can expect me to arrive to work on time, come in with a positive attitude, and show eagerness to learn. Why do you want to work with us? I want to work here because Taco Bell is my favorite fast food restaurant and I live close by, so I wouldn't have an excuse as to why I can't get to work. If I have to walk or take the bus, I will do it so I can get to work on time. Tell me what you know about this company. I know that Taco Bell introduced the Mountain Dew Baja Blast and that the Taco Bell Foundation donated $10 million to support at-risk teenagers. Describe your dream job. My dream job is to become a creative entrepreneur where it would allow me to publish content full time on social media. How do you deal with conflict? If I have to defend myself, I will. But if I see that the conversation is leading to an argument, I say nothing else and I walk away. How long would you expect to work for us if hired? As long as the work environment is healthy and I am treated fairly, I stay for as long as I can. Do you have any questions? No. 
Keep in mind that my answers show personality, honesty, and my ability to work with a team. All right, and that is the ultimate guide to passing a fast food job interview. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Comment down below if you have any questions or more tips to add and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I make your life easier. So expect more helpful videos like this. And please let's help others pass their fast food job interviews by sharing this video to your friends or family members or anyone who needs help getting their first job. All right, until next time, see y'all later.